Hello, guys, and welcome back to another edition of Random Horror Games, where I play random horror games. This time, I've chosen, I think, five, uh, all from Itch.io, for free, that, to me, look like they were probably, uh, that they will probably be pretty weird. So, I hope so. Uh, to be true, though, I tried playing this about ten minutes ago, and I got stuck. And I think I ran into a bug, because one of the keys that I got uh, simply would not unlock the door, even though it was supposed to. So I don't know what happened with that, and it wasn't very far into the game. So I'm going to reset it and see what happens, and see if maybe this time it'll work. Maybe I missed something, I don't know. Uh, and we'll look at the options too really quick. Uh, yeah, it's just out uh, of the resolution. Shadow quality, whatever, so I'm all good with that. So, new game. Alright, you're playing as a theft. You found this house in the neighborhood that looks as it has been empty for the last couple of weeks. So you decide to take a look and maybe find some valuables. But things don't go as expected. Alright, so the plot sounds real fun. I like that plot. Um, WASD, left shift to run. Uh, left control to crouch, mouse, left button, uh, right, so V, yeah, so the controls are really standard, I know that I wasn't, like, doing something incorrectly, like, it just wasn't working, the door would not open, so I think it just got glitched, so let's hope, alright, alright, so there's some money in here, and I took the money before. I'm not going to take it this time. Because I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't letting me select the key out of the inventory. It was trying to use the money for some reason. Even though I would cycle through it. I don't know. But it's just something I'm going to do this time. So let's keep exploring. Here's the kitchen. Very nice kitchen. I don't think we can really interact with anything. We can't crawl underneath, so... That's a damn shame. Um, yep, pretty basic. Nothing here. The IC. So we will continue throughout the bottom of the house. Uh, there is this door, which will tell you. It's stuck. You need a crowbar. So I never found the crowbar, but I think it's in the bathroom. That It would not let me unlock. So we'll see. Um, oh look, it's it's Mr. Teddy and and Mrs. Pig, Mrs. Piglets. Everyone knows her. Okay, very cute. <clears throat> so there's this. Uh, there's no key card, so we have to find a key card. Um, I think that's upstairs. We'll find it. I have a bad memory, so this is all kind of new anyway. Okay, so that's the door that closes on me. Um, should I just run for the door? Eh, I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh, did you hear that? Okay. Oh, look at the eyes. <laughs> oh, okay, and it's closed. Okay. And now it appears to be locked, although it doesn't say it's locked. But yeah, it's locked. So, uh, we'll go in here. Creaky. Some stuff. Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh, what, what? Weird. I don't remember seeing any of that before. Okay. Let me open this. Don't think there's anything inside. Uh. Bad. Computer. Okay, so there's more money. I'm not gonna take the money. Uh, there's the key card. I'm gonna take that. If it'll let me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, and a key. So, what is the key for? Key to the drawers. Okay. 
So, key to the drawers. Which I'm guessing are... <clears throat> the drawers down... Uh, down there. Oh. What was that? Okay, I don't remember that happening the first time. So I think maybe it's not going to glitch this time. That'd be great. Okay, so... Key to the drawer. See, I don't see a way to select that. I'm not taking the fucking money. Alright, so... Uh, let's open up that... Thing. The lockbox. I need a key card. I have a key card. I have a key card. Why? <laughs> okay, it worked that time. <sighs> okay, yeah, this really does kind of appear to be a little glitchy. All right, so I got the bathroom key. Um. Oh. I just want to try this grow one more time. So, yeah, see, it's not opening. Uh, key to the drawer. Key to the bathroom, key to the drawer. Okay, and that's just money. But yeah, it just doesn't seem to open these, so whatever. Hopefully we don't need to open those top drawers. Oh! Oh, hello! Okay. That's terrifying. It's locked! And this is right where I was before, and the key would not unlock it. Okay, am I going to have the same problem again? Like, if I got the same problem again, I don't know what to do. I saw other YouTubers having the same damn problem. It's... Do I have to trigger, like, a specific part of the fucking door? Oh my god, guys. Okay. I got it to work. So, it's really weird. So, what I did was I right-clicked, and then it popped the inventory up. And then I chose the key, and it worked. So, triggering the inventory myself by hitting tab uh, made it not work. I don't know why that is, uh, but I finally figured it out. And it was like a half an hour of trying to figure it out, so all that shit's going to be cut out. Uh, but let's finally go into the bathroom. I'm so excited. Oh, jeez. Well, here's our crowbar. And here's our famous horror game, horror video game explorable bathroom, which every good horror game must have. I don't make the rules. That's just what they are. So this game has that. Um, and I think this game would have been a lot better if the door didn't piss me off for 30 fucking minutes. Oh my god, more mannequins. Here we go. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay. I didn't like that. Alright, so... Let's go down here. So you have to right-click. You have to right-click the object first. And then left-click to use it. That's so weird. Maybe it said it in the instructions. I didn't read it that way. But I could be slow. Cool. Okay. Alright, can we just leave? Like, we got our gold. I better find the key to the exit door. And get out of here real quick. Yeah, no shit. Uh, okay, so... Where is the key gonna be? Well, I'm glitching. Can't really see in front of ourselves very well. Uh, 
Is that more gold? <laughs> it is. Wow, these people are rich. But like right now, all I want is the key. So there. Key? <laughs> no key yet. Key over here? <laughs> I'm not seeing a key. Uh, there's this. <laughs> a water tank. It's not very helpful to me. Okay. Key! Ha <laughs> ha! Look, a key, guys. A key. I can get out with this. Alright, let's get out of here. Huh. Oh no. Get away from me. I don't like you. Oh god. Where's the front door? Oh fuck. Oh shit. I died. I died. Alright. Let me edit me back there. Hold on a sec. Alright guys, I'm afraid to say it, but the game is bugged again. Uh, maybe before it wasn't bugged, I don't know, and you just had to right click. But now I'm back up to where we were, and this guy is just peeking at us, see? Just peeking at us through the door. And uh, in the previous playthrough, I would click the door and the door would slam, and then this one would open. But this door will not open, I don't have a key for it. Um, I've been downstairs a bunch. I've looked through all the drawers. There's no, no key. No key for it. Um, I've been in here. Maybe, maybe I have to click. Maybe I have to click this first. Asking me for a key card, which I don't have. So maybe if I go up now, the door will get slammed in my face. Let me... Try that really quick before I give up. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Again... Totally bugged. Uh, I think there's a good effort here. There's some potential. It definitely seems creepy. I wish I wouldn't have died the first time. But now that I'm retrying it again and I'm running in to weird shit, I'm just going to give up and go to the next game. So, okay, next game. This is an old forgotten artifact under my bed. Maybe you can help me find it. I need it to get rid of the monster. Just find it, and then show it to my mom. I hope she'll know what to do next. Thank you in advance. You are very kind. Alright, so this game is called Dumb Treasure. It looked uh, rather interesting, so... Let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, it's definitely strange. It looks like it's a point and click. Uh... But also found footage. Junk. Okay, so it's junk. Uh, guess we'll go this way. Dark tunnel. <laughs> Scary. Okay. A oh, weird. What? We can take pictures. Okay, so I read the description. It did say we were like a little robot or something sent to search under the bed. Uh, very strange. But I'm interested. So I don't think we... Yeah, we haven't been this way. Okay, it's a... Paper sheet. And apparently a wall. So, we'll go this way. Uh... Oh, man, there's a lot of directions. Oh, no! Okay, so that led us... to nowhere. Uh... Oh. 
Take item. Okay. What do we get? We got a marker. Alright. Uh. Okay, so that's right where we were. <laughs> Why did it look like there were so many different ways, but there's not now? I'm confused. Okay, so... We're gonna use the marker on this. I guess, on this white sheet. Okay, so it looks like it gave us directions. Up, left, right. Up, left, left. Okay. Up. Left. Right? Oh. What is that? Suffering teddy bear. What the hell? Okay, and, and it said up again? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. Um, we'll just go left. Oh, take item. Pain pill. Okay, is that for the teddy bear because he's suffering? Uh huh. Ah! <laughs> That's scary. He looks like a drunk sloth. I am so confused. Okay, so... I know, it's an up, left, left, up... Right... Play. Error. Broken CD player. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> there's a CD. Have we gone up? It's like a cigarette butt. I don't see anything else. Okay, so... I'm so confused on what we're doing. Okay, so up... If we go left... Can we go left? No. We go right? No. We go straight? We go straight? <laughs> we go right? Right, okay, so we've been here all before, and you guys know I get lost. Like, mad in these games. So, oh my god, um... Yeah, keep going. See, this looks like it would be a different direction, but it's not. Right, and this just, yeah, takes us to a wall. So... Um... Okay, the doors again. Go back further? Okay. What? Self repair. <laughs> okay. So, what did we do? Did we fix the CD player? Okay, I, I keep looping. Okay, I am so... confused. Oh! Mom. That's mom? <laughs> I can't even tell what that is. Okay, so we use the self... repair kits. And maybe we fixed... A CD player? Okay, yeah. Watch photos. Okay. Is that a drain? 
Okay. <laughs> what was it? Uh, dead mouse. Gross. Okay, um, looks like we can go down. Oh, is that leaving the... Okay, so we need to go back to that. So, yeah, I don't think we were ready to leave. Okay, so, the grain, the dead mouse... I don't know. Does down always take us out? <laughs> Are we missing something? Okay. <laughs> this game is so confusing. All I can think is just like, okay. Oh, oh, what's that? Okay, so it took us out, but we got a dead mouse. Well, what's the dead mouse for? The bear? <laughs> Does our mom want it? <laughs> I'm just looping. I can't, I hate this. I like the game. I just hate looping. Okay. This is leading me right back, isn't it? Yes. Oh, boy. Okay, and I see nothing to put a dead mouse in. Head mouse. Okay. Oh, use the dead mouse in the dark tunnel? Oh. What did that do? I can't tell. What is that? I don't know what we did. Turn back. Yeah, well, I guess we're probably not. <clears throat> what is this? Yeah, that's like... <laughs> what I'm wondering too. What is this? What is any of this? Uh, what? I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Faceless head. Okay. Well, that's what I'm looking at then. A faceless head. And is this all under our bed? Like, if this is all under our bed, we need to, like, clean up. Really. Okay. So we can only go down again. But we can go left. Or is that what we did? Oh, yeah, that's where we came from. So we gotta go back. This way? Okay. <laughs> this place is gross looking. What is it? It's just like... Is it just like dead rats? Okay. Um. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Uh. What? No. <laughs> this is. Oddly terrifying. Take item. What is that? Uh. Okay, my mouse is tweaking. Sharp piece of metal. What are we going to use that on? Okay, so we're. 
can't use it on her. Or him. Whatever it is. Anything to use metal on? Here? No. Okay, and this is where we were. Uh, back? Maybe in here? Okay, what are we doing with the metal? It's gotta be something. Okay, that's just taking us out. So, maybe go back this way. With our metal. Oh no! Okay. Faceless head, and... And we got wet hair. Okay. Should we put the hair down the drain? I do remember seeing a drain. I don't want to go back too far. Okay, there's nothing to use hair. Here. Creepy. Alright, yeah, I don't see. Uh... Gross. So we can go back. Back. <laughs> and back. Okay, where was the CD player? <clears throat> Not here. Not there. Not there. I don't think he wants the wet hair. Uh. Okay, yeah, so let's. Oh no, the photos changed. What the fuck? Ugh. No! That's terrifying looking. Huh. What, what am I even looking at? This feels wrong. Can I click on any of this? I've been so scared to look- What? What is happening there? Okay. So... Okay. The grain. Clog. With the hair. Oh. We got a knife. Okay. We got a knife. What's it say? Evidence! Okay. So we have the evidence now. So do we go back to mom? I can barely remember where she was. It was kind of weird how we ran into her. <laughs> That's not mom. Uh, back? Left? Right? No. Alright, where the hell is mom at? Okay, here we are. Get her attention. With the evidence, right? Never mind. Blind idiot. That's what the picture is called. What what happens? What do we do now? Oh, oh this changed. Okay. All right. Useless treasure. Okay, we got it. Thank you for trying. Okay. <laughs> you were very brave. Unfortunately, 
It didn't work. If you want, you can play my other games in the series. They are called Darkness Under My Bed and A Game for Anna. I hope to see you soon. Alright, so that was utterly bizarre, but I actually really liked it. I liked the style of it, and I liked the developer, so I will absolutely check out those other two games and play them in the very near future. But for now, I already have a few selected for this video alone. Uh, so here we go. Next game. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, this one is called Don't Go Into the Basement. Ooh. Spoopy. Okay, here we are. We're in our slightly cluttered and messy room with our old possibly Mac type computer. It is 1230. I'm guessing probably AM. We're a night owl. Some junk on the floor. We got a skateboard. Let's keep going. Let's see how many doors are locked in our own house. Uh, that one didn't seem to do anything. Okay, nothing. The basement is locked. Okay. A uh, flashlight. Can we get it? I can't seem to pick it up. Sweep, clean room. Okay, so maybe we don't need the flashlight yet? Kind of looks like it's in the table. That's weird. Alright, so we gotta sweep. Sweep it up. Sweep it up. Sweeping it up. Oh, yeah. He's sweeping. And we'll just throw... We'll just throw the broom on the ground like a good little boy. And I guess we can go over here. Take a look. Oh, the TV went out. Okay, find a flashlight. Well, I would have just picked it up a minute ago, but since you wouldn't let me, I'll do it now. Alright. Replace broken fuse in the basement that said it was locked. Uh, so that'll be interesting. If, like kitty cat? Cute. Okay, I think the basement was right here. So now it's just magically unlocked. Find new fuse. If this were me in this situation, I would have no fucking idea what to do, like with fuses and and shit. I wouldn't know. I'd be helpless. I'd just like probably die or something. I'm a pathetic human being. And this flashlight is not very bright when you get close to things. There's a bicycle. Is there a fuse over here? What does a fuse look like? I guess it looks like that. Alright, so we got the fuse. Now what? <laughs> we got an arcade machine. That's so cool. I wish the... I wish when we got close to things, the flashlight didn't actually make it darker. Makes it a lot harder to find things. Okay. Alright, here we go. What, what was that? I don't know. What was it? You tell me. Can we... Can we go? Okay. So it doesn't even say it's locked. It just won't... Let me out. So that's great. We're... We're trying... Well, okay. The game is called Don't Go in the Basement. So, yeah, no. That was our first mistake. Oh. <laughs> that was cute. That actually did make me jump. Was that was that the whole game? All right, that's the whole game. That was cute. I mean, there wasn't a lot to it, but I actually really did jump. So, <laughs> props for that. Okay, next game. Hello and welcome back to another edition of 
What the fuck am I playing? Um, where we play games where I don't know, uh, what the fuck I'm playing. So, uh, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is, like, the third game I've played today, I think. Um, the rent is long overdue. My tenants grow complicit with comfor uh, comforts. Uh, they're fractured. Minds are beginning to fester. The sickly airborne plague of uh, serotonin spores plant falsehood of happiness within their wretched cares. Jay is of no use in this world. The sweet essence of utter despair fuels the hearts and minds of the workers. Churning the infinite wheels of profit, my leather-bound wallet swells in anticipation of their turmoil as they harvest sweet, sweet coin from the cold soils of this desolate world. I wish I could read. Uh, how I crave the sweet riddled sustenance of unbridled parasitic capitalism. My tenants are mere instruments in the pursuit of blind profits. I trust you to manifest my bidding. Go forth and harvest their labors. Okay, so we're collecting rents. <laughs> Is that what I've gathered here? Okay. Are these three doors? Ah. <laughs> Yikes! You always walk in on people unannounced like that? Gross. Hey, Stinky. Why do you look like an apple? Oh, we get to choose one, so... I guess we'll go with Stinky. This twisted husk of a decaying flesh suit was once human like you. Fungal spores line the sudden budget walling of these dismal quarters. Okay, so the text on my screen is really small. That's why I'm struggling. Plaguing both air and mind as they contort our forms into these wretched fruit-like vessels. The eye-watering aroma that offends your nostrils so, this maggot-infested skin weeps with the pungent fumes of sentient rot. Soon I shall become not. But mush and calcified bone remnants festering on the floor of this accursed apartment. You know not of pain. The ever gnawing sensation of despair as you watch helplessly from the sideline of your own existence? Did I have ambitions? Yes. In another life, I sought the simplicity of travel. Vowing one day, I'd travel the seven seas in search of a purpose amongst the vast surfaces of this bleak planet that we call Earth. Over time, the vapid, overbearing reality of this capitalist society crushed the very essence of such dreams year after year cast into the inferno of minimum wage employment as I hopelessly struggled in vain this is too true right now uh, to afford the mere essentials of tepid sustenance and housing tell me why must we trample upon the dreams of others um, this is the way it's always been. Must we not strive for more? In the mere preservation of this heartless system, all we can hope to strive for is these industries, which are built upon turmoil, exploiting the labors of most in need, of the most in need. Must we cast away our long-term happiness and splinter the limited time of our existence just to fuel the trivial gluttonous ambitions of the corporate giants. Time is finite. 
Uh, we mammals crave but the simplicity of freedom, and yet all we have to experience is the insipid commodities of industrial exploitation. Watch as we burn down the forests, salt the fields, and flood the oceans with our waste. We stand here at the point of no return, unable to muster uh, resistance as we struggle to afford more shelter. Sentience seems as though a curse. Uh, you perceive the cruel nature of this existence, the suffering we casually inflict on one another. A single soul is of little significance. In such a society, what power do we have to change the callous fates? Without wealth nor status, one's actions mean but not. For all the well, intention decisions, we are hopelessly ill-equipped to enact the positive change we hope to see on this planet, tormented by the knowledge that those with the capacity to opt not to build a bright future for all. You, you're here to collect the rent, aren't you? Have you been listening at all? Is our suffering but a joke to uh, you flesh bodies? All we seek is the simple bliss of freedom, the merest joy of shelter, and brief respite, respite from this constant festering, teetering at the edge of starvation. The wealth quarters lord over us, cackling as our bodies succumb to the mental exhaustion of a thankful, thankless, soul-crushing labor all the time. Of our brief existences whittled away, our persistent toils for naught as we break under the weight of this insurmountable exploitation. <sighs> Rent. It takes all we have. All we are. Must you leave us with nothing? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we're gonna be that asshole and see what happens. We'll, we'll harvest the rents. Okay. Kinda wanna see how this ends. <laughs> it's gonna be dark. Alright, so... This is how it ends. You opted to rent... Uh, rend my very soul and then extinguish this bleak existence as mere payment for a landlord's incessant gluttony. You choose to destroy the fabric of my being, cursing me into a bleak of, uh, void of oblivion. This needless cruelty to bar one from the potential of an afterlife. Why? Okay. So this is very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Who are we going to meet now? Ha ha ha. You're an odd looking fellow. It's been a long a while since I've seen any actual human skin wearers around these parts. Recently I've just been apple. Apple and more apple. Haha. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of fruit and verging on full body metamorphosis myself, but lately uh, the mold seems to be taking hold of more than just the tenant's forms. At first I was admittedly pretty horrified when my predicament pigmentation began festering into this sickly shade of putrid green. I even vomited a little when my fingernails inverted and my organs gradually fused into a sponge-like plant matter and that consumed my human nerves into a raging torrent of anguish. These distortions of the flesh were little more than an appetizer for what was to come. The rot. It devours us. Imagine, if you will, every cell in your wretched body screaming out in blistering pain, begging for the sweet release of death. Days upon days, writhing in agony, watching as my, your mind wilts and your body husk festers. Unable to intervene. This constant torture and still, they expect rents. These days I can barely muster the will to lift myself from my spore-riddled mattress. How can you possibly expect me to muster the vapid chalice of monetary gain with such afflictions? Our government has abandoned us. There is no budget for this suffering. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, they've left us all out in the sun to decay while they lard around. They do. And play golf. And shit. In their mansions flaunting our purse. Here we, uh, here we remain empty, broken. Our souls to be reaped in the grand harvest. Our minds destroyed by those bearing the ghastly lines of landlord. Title, not lines. Alright, so... Ha, you see him actually worked up. So he could be an asshole. We were an asshole to the last one. Let's, let's try the different route for this one. Um, what were you before this? All this, believe it or not. I was once a simple flesh-bound human like you. I had dreams, grand ambitions, love, questions such as those often ascertained the bland. Okay. Oh, the bland emotion, sapping void, known as a career. Uh, for I, I, it was never a matter of choice, but mere necessity. You know the depths of despair? And how they feel by those in retail? The malice in the eyes of the public? The sheer disregard for the emotional struggle? Of their fellow people as they tear their minds asunder in this vapid pursuit of capitalistic trinkets? What drives one to berate a mere teenager over the pettiest of storefront inconveniences? The madness within their souls? The blind desire to inflict suffering upon them? Uh, upon those they deem lesser. Wealth, for all it's worth, it corrupts. Wealth drags the human from one's soul. Taping their eyes shut to the callous nature of the vast emotional cruelties they enact upon those struggling. Can they see not the soul breaking within those they damage so willingly? Are we as a society not better than this? There's no merriment found to be found in this cycle of neglect and despair. Oh, oh, the light of ambition that once drove me is all but extinguished. My dreams cling in desperation to the fading hope of a future joy. How long will they last? Am I merely chasing the ghost of an illusion that never even was? Alright. Uh, what happens if you eat apples? What happens if you eat your kin? Cannibalism is not a practice we apple folk indulge in. The mere notion of our boundless fruit consumption uh, prior to this wretched transformation of the flesh fills us with insurmountable guilt and terror. Picture it if you will. A lifetime blind to the horrors you inflict upon those without a voice. Take the animals, for example. Can't you hear the screams of the cattle you so greedily pile atop your plates? Were their lives of no worth to the desires of gluttony? Ha! <laughs> the misery will be the end of me. Alright, so we can harvest or we can ignore. Uh, this one seems pretty miserable. I would probably harvest just to see where this would go. Like, I could take this all one way and then do it again. But, I think I'll just have one experience of this game for now. And we'll ignore the rent for this one and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some good karma. Ignore. <laughs> Watch as they squirm. I tell you this much, you've ignited the blind fury within that of the divider. There is no place for the m merciful within this cruel world. I thank you, and yet, all I can do is pity you. It would be unwise to visit the landlord's chambers after such a treasonous deed. You should flee while the opportunity remains. Okay. <laughs> so we're not really the landlord, we're just the collector. We're, we're doing his biddings. So if they said we should flee, I don't think we can flee. <laughs> Alright. A ghost who goes there. All I see is darkness. Within these wretched, damp, stricken walls. How I mourn the loss of vision. Come closer. Come closer. I was once an artist, you know. 
a sculptor of visual form, one of this world's finest workers of light, the boundless expanse of possibly of possibility at my fingers. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody come in. Uh, so cruelly, so cruelly, snatched away. Oh, how it was to witness it all. To witness all of creation stretched out before me. Unimaginable, beauty and unfathomable, terror, listless, intertwined, a seemingly infinite ballet of sensory pleasures for the eye sockets. Yet here I wallow, trapped in darkness even more. Sight, but a once. Beautiful memory. You dear visitor, you not know how lucky one is to be gifted with sight. It's only through loss we learn the true value of uh, something that we so easily take for granted. Okay. So we can be like, get back, Apple! Or your head. Um, so, let's be a dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Apple. I have the foggiest what your talking about. Uh, do you, dear visitor, take me for a fruit? I can tell you with the utmost certainty that you, my friend, are rather insane if you believe one is but an object for consumption. Sightless though I may be, my memories are more certainly uh, that of a human. How I miss the sweet visage of my facial splendor. The gentle shine in my eyes as the light refracted across the surface. The soft tufts of hair that sprung back and forth to the most gentle of breezes. The toothy smiles. Some days it's so vivid, dancing. Dancing in and out of vapid dreamscapes between slumbers. Over days, it's as though my former life is veiled in a thick, tar-like mist of spare matter. If there's a life after this plane of existence, I wonder, will the gift of sight bless me once again? Tell me, have you ever heard the tale of the orchard, or, orc, orchard of spores? Uh, breathless were those whom entered, there remains but a series of rot, tangled husks interweaven, with the mulch and bracken, a vibrant technicolor oasis of poison-tinged flora and fungal matter and an untouched miracle of nature's spite. Some say a scorned ancient woodland god slumbers within it, uh, within the mists bidden within the murkiest depths of a crimson pool composed of its own teardrops, irreparably broken by the loss of its only daughter to the callous ever insatiable bloodlust of humanity and uh, an ethereal forest entity slain as a false prophet and putrid harborer of an anti-capitalistic ideology a mere disruption to the ever worrying cogs of our vast smog belching industrial infernal within this twisted orchard there lies a divine gift unreachable by the scarred hands of mankind, a single fruit-bearing apple tree, the consumption of which is stated to spark unrivaled personal growth within the devouring host, be it rumor or truth, countless hands, hordes of ambitious botanists have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of the apple's discovery wandering into the depths of the orchard never to be seen from again. Alright, so I'll just be like, sounds familiar. How so? Have you experienced loss at the cruel hands of the orchard too? Do you hear them? Still screaming in your dreams, pleading with silent cries as they try clawing their way back into this existence through the passage of your sleeping eyelids. Each day I ask myself, why them? Why not take me instead? I'd sacrifice this form a thousand times over just to feel the warmth of their faces once more. Just to bask in the presence 
and share in a small moment together. There's a vast hole where my heart once lingered and emotional emptiness prompted by the depth of such loss. I fear my mind will never be free of this, that this guilt will never leave me. Uh, from what I become? Alright, so we have two choices. Uh, this guy seems miserable too. We harvested the first one's rent. We should probably harvest them all because we're gonna probably end up getting killed, but we'll just ignore it. Alright, you've listened to my stories. Now leave me here to fester. You, I sense, are being of great empathy, yet I respect you not. Take your empathy forth and let not this world break you. Okay. Alright. So, I did all three. Okay. So what's gonna happen? Look at you, the sympathetic one. Those lowly deeds must have made you feel pretty special. Huh. You disgust me. Can... Can you feel it, though? The rot coursing through your veins? Why else did you think I wouldn't visit my own apartment? <laughs> uh, what did you think was eating those sodden walls? Mere mold? You'd better leave. There's nothing here for you but the incessant gnawing of the spores as they gradually consume your form. Apple to apples, dust to dust. That's the saying, right? Find an apartment of your own and rot. You... You're pathetic beyond belief. Oh... Okay, that came as way longer than I thought it would be. Is it over? Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so that's it. Uh, that was really bizarre and interesting. And obviously about the plight that, you know, the everyday average person goes through just trying to live, trying to find a place to reside and just keep going. And this was kind of like a weird, like, underground, uh, landlord type situation where they were literally rotting away like apples from a fallen tree. I don't know. Alright, so that was bizarre. This video is going to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Next game. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next game of a series of games that make me all say so far, what the fuck am I playing? <laughs> I've made some very interesting choices, I think. This time around, and this will be the last game, for the video, um, as I said in the previous game, I think this video uh, is going to be a little longer than I expected. I was thinking of doing something short, but here we are. And it's more interesting. So warning, before playing the game, there will be multiple jump scares, loud noises, blood, uh, may contain flashing lights, and is not suitable for people with epilepsy. The game is not suitable for children or those that experience suicidal thoughts self-harming. The game is based off of a number one favorite lost cartoon episode on the creppy pasta web. This game is by Carl Curley. Curly Games. It's called Spongebob Suicide. Isn't that cute? Alright, let's go. Uh, what? We're waking up. Did I just oh no. Okay. Uh, walk to the lights to start the episode. Okay. Where's the light, huh? Is that us? Are we having like an out of oh body experience? Here we go. We're going towards the lights. Whew. How to play left key, left click to interact, WASD to move, left shift to sprint, left click to open inventory. When you have a key card in inventory, it will already be active. Left click and hold to drag the item and drop. Left click to view paper in inventory. Right click to exit escape for mouse cursor. Okay. I think I got it. Whoa. 
find the key card to unlock the door and discover the unknown noise. Okay. Uh. Nice art. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, we can go in here, but do you see all those key cards? Oh, what? Are we gonna have to try like every single key card? I really hope not. That reminds me of this game I played. I think it was Siren Head in the Snow. And I had to look through every single desk to find a key. And there were it was like a huge office full of desks. It was awful. Okay. I was an intern at Nickelodeon Studios for a year in 2005 for my degree in animation. It wasn't paid, of course. Most internships aren't, but it did have some perks beyond education. To adults, it might not seem like a big one, but most kids at the time would shit themselves over it. Alright, I shit myself too. Right, we're just gonna toss that. So, I think we can collect multiple key cards, maybe? Or is it just two at a time or something? One, two. So that's like all our inventory can hold. Oh boy. Okay. Great. <laughs> Why are they doing this to us? Why is this even happening? I wonder if it's random or if it's always... Uh, one specific one. Okay, that didn't work. Hopefully we don't have to try it twice. Okay. Maybe I should click twice to be sure. No. I wonder if it's going to be one of the bedrooms. Shit, I clicked out of the game. Uh, 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 there was some in the bedroom. Maybe try a couple of these. Boom, boom. At least there's not that many in the bedroom. So, like, if it were one of them, that would be cool. Okay. Okay, it worked. And there's, uh, there's fucking squid. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, no. We fell through the floor. And I was going to say, excuse my language. I've been swearing a lot lately. I don't know why. Are we? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. Sup, brother? Okay, so we're gonna go this <gasps> way. Oh. There he is. Oh, thank God I have this flashlight. It's bloody dark in this place. Okay. try this a couple more times. <laughs> I mean, like, what's the point? Okay, well, what? Okay. Is that the only way we can go? Okay, we can't go back this way. Oh, what's this? 
I worked directly with the editors and animators. I got to view the new episodes days before they aired. I'll get right to it without giving too many unnecessary details. They had very recently made the Spongebob movie and the entire staff was somewhat sapped of creativity so it took them longer to start up the season but the delay lasted longer for more upsetting reasons. Okay. Interesting. So we're gonna have to go in here and he's gonna fucking kick our ass. How do we get by him? He's like right there. Can we turn our flashlight off? I don't think so. I mean, I guess just run. <gasps> oh, thank God I have this flashlight. It's bloody dark in this place. What is wrong with him? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is so weird. Okay. All right. Play the stage theme. I had to turn that down. So how do we do this? I am so lost. How do we do this? Uh, oh, okay. Me and the two other interns were in the editing room along with the lead animators and the sound editors for the final cut. We received the copy that was supposed to be Fear of Krabby Patty and gathered around the scene the screen to watch. Now, given that it wasn't the final yet, animators often uh, the final, yet. Animators often put up a mock title card, sort of an inside joke for us, with phony, oftentimes lewd titles, such as How Sex Doesn't Work, instead of Rockabye Bevalve, uh, when Spongebob and Patrick adopt a sea scallop, okay? Uh, nothing particularly funny, but work-related chuckles, so when we saw the title card, Squidward Suicide. We didn't think it was more than a morbid joke. But it was. I bet. I just don't know what I'm doing. So, there's chairs. There's big ass chairs. There's a gate. There's rest stairs. The TVs don't do anything. That I see. I don't see any more key card stuff. I see a big button. I can't hit it. Oh. Okay. Complete the uh, stage scene. To start the ritual. Okay. Okay, we're at stage scene. Oh no! Patrick, what happened? Uh, can I click him? Ew, I can kind of see through him. Alright, well that's more of it. That's going to go on the uh, screenshot, methinks. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we can't get any closer. Okay. We can't do anything, so let's just watch. He's getting booed. Oh. Oh no. Oh, is that SpongeBob right there? Okay, we're getting like a crazy Carrie type scene. <laughs> if y'all remember the movie Carrie. Find a way to drain the water and find the lift. Okay. <laughs> Squidward has uh lost his mind, man. Well, there's my way out of here. But there's so much water. If I could just drain all this water out. Finally get out of here. <clears throat> okay, so your way out is with these boards? But you need to drain it. Okay. How are we gonna drain it? Okay, let's go this way. Is there just like a big plug or something? Just unplug it. Oh no, not again. Uh, I better stay out of sight. Okay. Yes. Okay. Find the lift and continue. Okay, so the lift is back where we were. Uh, where'd he go? Okay, that should do it. What was that? Oh God! This game is actually making me a little nervous. It's kind of funny. I think it's this way. Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay, the lift is over there. Just searching for answers oh. to life's big and small questions. What can I help you with? Did you hear that? My I can hear you loud and clear. Oh my god. That thing goes off sometimes, Randy. <laughs> It scares the shit out of me and ruins games. Alright, so now I gotta drain the water again. That was my Google Home Mini. And it will just go off every once in a while. The fuck? Okay, so he's gonna be here. Oh, he's not. Okay, we went the wrong way. So we gotta drain the water this way. Okay. Oh no, not again. I better stay out of sight. Yeah. Okay, so we have to go around here. Go very slowly.
Okay, it's pulled. Find the lift. Alright guys, so I've tried this like a million times. And I keep dying. And I'm not really sure why. I've watched a few other playthroughs of just this part. And they seem to just walk by him very easily. So, I'm going to try again. And I'm going to do it very slow. Huh. Don't know what that was. I'm getting the hell out of here. Nick, I'm gonna go ridiculously slow. Ooh. He just always gets me. Maybe? Ugh, I made it, okay. Play the crying scene. Ugh, that was annoying. That almost made me cry. Complete the crying scene and survive. Excellent. That was pleasant. Okie doke. Now arriving at crying was that crying or screaming? Oh boy. There he is. Find the key card to open the door and watch out for Su Squidward, excuse me. Okay, well there's Squidward, there's the key card. Uh, let's read that real quick. <laughs> One of the interns did a small throat laugh at it. The happy-go-lucky music plays as is normal. The story began with Squidward practicing his clarinet, hitting a few sour notes like normal. We hear SpongeBob laughing outside and Squidward stops, yelled at him to keep it down as he was at a, as he, down as he has a concert that night and needs to practice. SpongeBob said okay and goes to see Sandy and Patrick, the bubble splash screen comes up and we see the ending of Squidward's concert. This is when things began to seem off. Sure. Okay. Well, we... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I think Squidward has depression. And that's not the right key card. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, there's another one right there. So let's toss this one. Oh, good. Okay. Run! I can do that. Although I run out of stamina quickly. I am still trying. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that wasn't good enough. I don't have a key card again. Well, how can you run when you just like run out of freaking stamina? Can we shut the door behind us? 
Okay, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna walk until it says run. Go. How do we get past him? Uh. Okay, I think it's always this one. Go! Go! Oh. Okay. Don't listen to him. I'm watching you. I just want to start off by saying, if you want an answer at the end, prepare to be disappointed. Oh, God. Hey, dude. About five seconds after the second photo played, Squidward went silent. As did all sounds. Like it started. But his tentacles down. Well, he put his tentacles down, and his eyes were now done with hyperrealism, like others were in the beginning of the episode. There were bleeding, bloodshots, and Paul standing. He just stared at the screen, as if watching the viewer. After ten seconds, he started slobbering. This time, not covering his eyes. The sound was bloody loud, like static loud. And most fear including of all this, his slobbering was mixed with screams. And I never want to see a second part of that again. I don't know what is happening or what is going on. Well, I need to say you have to continue the episode if you want to complete the ritual. My name is Curly. And you there, mate, there, mate. Standing, standing in the living room, room looking, looking around, around next to the next phone. phone. I'm here to, I'm help, here you to help you get out of get this out mess. mess. The end of the beta. <clears throat> Alright, that was weird. That was crazy, odd, insane. A little tricky, but I beat it. So, yeah. Um, overall, I liked all of the games I played. Uh, even the first one. I enjoyed, uh, what was that? Wrong house? The only problem is it was bugged for me and I couldn't uh, get it. And then there was no go to the basement, which was just a simple little fun game that gave me a little scare at the end. There was an applesauce apartment Wind window. No, I'm sorry. The folder says windows because it's for windows. But yeah, it's applesauce apartments. And that was very weird and deep and kind of poetic and tongue-tying, but I liked it. Uh, there was Dumb Treasure, which was really super creepy. And this one, which was also creepy. So, you know what? They were all good. I'd like to uh, go back and play the wrong house one again if it works, and maybe I will. So, yeah. If you liked this video, click like. If you really liked it, click share. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, do click subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more or games. I also plan to do um, Sally Face episode 2 this Thursday with Mallory. So check that out. She's really cool and fun to play with with these games. So, yep. Alright. See you later. Peace.